many penises. Why? Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka Geek XX Chic, and we are back with another reaction to The Boys. We're now on season four, episode two which is called Life Among the Septics. Yeah, you know what? I'm not even gonna start imagining. But yes, last episode premiere was great. Kind of launched us into what we can expect for this season. We basically kind of picked up right where we, almost right where we left off last season. Maybe a few months have uh, passed by. But um, the main things that we can take from this is that Billy is still gonna have to work on some way to get Ryan away from Homelander, but he's not gonna screw over my man Huey, which is good. Uh, we see that Victoria Newman's daughter has in fact turned into a soup, but she is kind of out of control with her abilities and I'm not sure that her mother's aware of that. Ryan knows about Billy, although I don't think, I'm trying to remember, I don't think he's told the rest of the boys, but anyways, Ryan knows about Billy and he's not happy about it. Homelander is aging and he's freaking out. We have an introduction of a new soup who used to be Sister Sage, but now she's just Sage and she is the smartest soup and she is helping be an agent of chaos underneath, uh, underneath Homelander's oversight. And uh, yeah, things are kicking off pretty crazy as far as this rebranding that Homelander is trying to do now, as far as being the new savior that everyone needs to look to. So lots of things going on, very much ready to jump into the next episode. So let's do it. But just before I do a reminder that if you would like to be in the know for when I drop these episodes or for this or any other show that you're watching of mine, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And then that way you will be in the know. All right, that out of the way, let's get into the episode right now. Come on, everybody. Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> but I think he's been a producer on this show for a couple years, right? When's the last time you had a decent meal? Oh, my God. Come on. Stop. You're throwing it all away, slinging yayo for gangbang? Yayo! You know me, coach. I'm leaving. Either outrun this life, or you can run yourself into an early grave. Ooh, bars. I'm not giving off too much of a blindside vibe, am I? As if that's a bad thing? Are you, wait, what is well, that? it is now. I smell an Oscar nomination. Shut up, man. No. Wow, that was cheesy. Everybody's giving up on you. You're all alone until the coach swoops in. Saves me from the ghetto. Mm. You White savior. Slum it. You said what I want doesn't matter. He's gonna tell him to use actually what I ebonics. want. Ebonics don't matter. Okay. Oh, I would flip him over. Run through him, a train. Run through him. Playing the war has been a meaningful challenge, but yesterday was whack as fuck. I've never actually murdered anyone. Shit. Just keep your mouth shut. Do as you fucking told. Me. Yeah, at this point, you, that's all you can do, bro, because you're you're literally a murderer. Benny Long and Ian Rashford savagely beat three good men to death outside the courthouse. Oh, blamed it on two black guys. Great. You know Vok killed my girlfriend, right? Oop. Oop. I'm literally fighting them right now. Wow. I think I had rosemary oil. Okay, we just breeze right on by that. Got tall. Yeah, that adds up. Since the last time you saw me, I was six fucking years old! Whoa, well, we're in a hospital. Your dad didn't tell you. Uh-oh. Oh, I think they've been in contact the whole time. He gave me power of attorney. Oh. And he signed a DNR. He, he didn't update his will? He did. And? Why the fuck would he give you power of attorney over me? still in love with her? We've been talking. Exactly, I was right. And I, I, I can handle this. I promise. That's what your dad wanted. She seems a bit flighty, but I'm starting to see though. Her, his, her, his dad seems like the kind of person who would like a flighty lady. <laughs> oh, not the walk of shame. You're not even gonna say goodbye. The man was concussed. You leave the money on the dresser. Hmm. <laughs> like you were literally concussed, but you had time to bang. Okay. <laughs> Oh dear, are we having a little bit of um, post-nut clarity there, pal? I couldn't agree more, but sometimes you have to confront your past in order to be free of it. Hmm. Why don't we start with something simple? Tell me about your parents. <gasps> hmm. Yeah, your past isn't a problem. At some point, girl, you're gonna have to face it. The boys is mine. There's a dying man with one last bluff. Damn, M.M. And get the fuck out. 
Bro, I'll throw you out. Damn, M.M. I get where M.M.'s coming from, though. Butcher has definitely screwed with their lives without any regrets mo multiple times. Because he came from greatness. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, buddy. Oh, no. That? Oh, the sleeves. No. You guess. <laughs> It's horrid! Let's not forget why he is special, shall we? Not because of you. He's my son. Chosen by God, sure, but, uh... Wow. Made by me. Wow. Run, Ryan. I'm not on the tall shoe. You won a kingdom for your son. I'm helping him get it. Look, they're all waiting for him to lose his mind, and he's not gonna. I'm here because Homelander wants me here. Does he trust me? He is such a freaking weirdo. Because he hates it, but he also craves it. It's just, oh, he's so annoying. Ashley's like, how? How did you do this? How did you make him respect you? Let me give you some advice. You know, girls supporting girls. <laughs> okay. You're so afraid of him, you plucked yourself bald. Oh! You're gonna get some lactation going, let him suck on those titties before you end up like that and still well. I'd say she snatched your edges, but you already did. What if? And just hear me out on this. No, it's already a no. Immediately. I was there. No. Nope. While PETA still has you on their bestiality watch list. Period. Freak. Yes, I'm judging. You're better than her. I like it. Look at you, and little you poop same. disturber. That's a good idea. I was right. She's up to her own mayhem. Okay, girl, I'm on board now. Oh, look, she made a cute little... Little cock. Penis and balls. I mean, it's art in some ways, right? Okay, but when Noir just enters stage right like that, I feel like it's more in character if I come into you the sky like... You talk. Sorry. Mm -hmm. On the day, you're going to throw me for real. I can take it. Yeah. So let's take five and we'll run it back. I don't right? think you yeah. can. Ryan is stronger than his father. You want to rehearse the throw a few times? Great huh? idea. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. Sure, sure. Yes, excellent. He hates it. We're not actually killing people on the day, am I right? Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, I want to say that to the deep every time I see him. Bless bless his Chase's heart. I'm the peak of human evolution and you're just you're just a capabarnia. Yeah. A what now? It's a rodent from South America. Oh, so you're fucking land mammals now. Yeah, you've got no ground, bro. You talk to me like that again, and I will drown you in your fucking toilet, you stupid bitch. After I've used it. Thank God. Airbrushing the wrinkles out of the Dawn of the Seven put VFX 9 mil over the budget. Heard neck fold to neck fold with Sex in the City 2. Shut up! Do you know man was a man has super hearing? Careless. Yeah, you're getting old, bro. It is what it is. Ain't no superpower by that yet, huh? And as a private and concerned citizen, I'm allowed to say fuck you to any deep state cunts trying to keep me from the truth. You should have known it was going to go that way, M.M. You've, you've known this man for decades. Come on now. I'm just saying, folks. Look at the demographic. Look at the demographic. Just a tinfoil hat wearing Nazi motherfuckers. Again. Yeah, you sure you want to be there, M.M.? I think I'd wait in the car. Yeah, you need to face it, honey. I don't even think she's even dealt with her brother's death properly. How's that go? Why well, do I feel like she knows you guys Where's are there? Not all together. Can you guys split up? Jeez. What was ma'am? So she's getting wasted for why? Is this a are they quintuplets or is this just a soup power? Um, so our next speaker is not only a true visionary. Go find your girl, Frenchie. Howdy there, true seekers. Hey. Ew. Bye. A national crisis. Oh, hold it together. Hold it together, Billy. A combo gets you a Wow, she's hammered. Get her out of there, Frenchie. The police code for child porn. It's just mad. I zoned out of what she was saying entirely. I can't, there's my, I've got a nonsense tolerance of zero. 
Wow, are we okay? Are you drunk? Or 16? You're lying, because no one says suck penis and vagina, ma'am. What, what are you, why are you scared of? What are we scared of? What are we doing now? We're projecting. Should she be in the men's locker room? I know it sounds dirty, but it's probably not, or maybe it is. Why? 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 That's burned into my brain forever, thanks. People look up to you. No, they look up to Starlight. Well, then make them look up to Annie. I can also see the value in it. In superheroes? You're defending It's the symbolism, not the superhero. People need a symbol. Love you. Can I get a selfie? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Who are these kids? His nephews? Just... Let's be chill, all right? You sneaking around with my boys behind my back. Hmm, thought so. And don't think y'all ain't in some deep shit. Sorry, Dad. That's their uncle. That terrorist? That was a stunt, man. Those mountains? They added those in post. I know. Because I was there. Okay. Your uncle is no hero. And I don't want you anywhere near him. Yeah, I think you just need to leave that one alone, A-Train. Smeared on top of a personal vendetta. Ain't you a little mouthy one? Appreciate the subtextual racism there, but I'm a soup. Sister Sage? That's it. Wow, that is lackluster. Well, so on is strong, too. You're gonna get this bloody lot killed. You can't eat, you can't sleep, and you ain't willing to do what it takes to run this. And he's not lying at the moment. He doesn't even want this job. Yeah, ain't that what your wife said? He's dying. What are you doing? Hey! Hey! If you must inflict pain, perhaps I can endure so others don't suffer. Mm, that's a quick way to disarm. Cool. Yeah, these are these are rednecks. You don't want to stick around too long, even though you would survive it. Well, Kumiko would. What is this? Security cam footage of your two starlighters. About a mile from the bodies of time and death. Why are you giving this to us? Because I have a conscience. And I'm trying to impress my brother. You could have gotten my face in front of my family, but you didn't. Yeah, he knew you were there. <laughs> I knew he would. I would have blasted the shit out of you, and you would have deserved it. Yeah, I agree. Oh, damn. So I was right. A train is looking for a way out, but you know, A train's got a lot to answer for, though, truthfully. Outside of what he did to Huey's girlfriend, his ex girlfriend, man needs to serve at least 20 years. Go. It's okay. Everything's under control. You saved me. Good girl. Ryan, between the fact that that was just messed up, I really hope you recognize that it's all about your dad, right? He does not care about you. I just feel like I'm not getting clear direction for this role. I really love new noir. I'm sorry I do. I miss old noir, but I really love new noir. She said 9 p.m. in a deep blue sea room, huh? I sure did. Yeah, she's smarter than all y'all. You've taken out more superheroes than anyone in the world. And Homelander would like it if you killed them. Oh, I'm gonna send your ass back to China, bitch. She's Japanese. Do you think she cares? Pink guy. Too much silly tossing, huh? No, 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 no. It's allergies. It's allergies. That's disgusting. <laughs> Hurry up, he's duplicating again. Quickly! Quickly! <laughs> what are you watching for? Hurry up, he's gonna keep going. Wait, what? What was, oh. Wait a minute, they're having a whole bar mitzvah with that convention going on next door. I'm sorry, sweetheart, you're never gonna unremember that. 
Shoot them in the dicks. You have to kill all of them. All of them at once. All of them. Quick. That's cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why is it? Why does why does poor mother's milk always end up with somebody's dingling near him? Woo! Okay. I'm calling on all the Firecracker! No! You don't no wonder she puts you in a friend zone, mate. Right? Yeah, Billy needs to get that out. So many penises. Why? Just all that wet flesh. Get the boys out of there! He's gonna save you. Off of me. Ugh. Is that the prime? Because if it's not the prime, you're in trouble. No, 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 not prime, no! Yeah! From your first Holocaust hoax video. You know, you. Oh, my God. She doesn't die, by the way. That's what I thought. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you love each other. Let's move on. He doesn't share your milk fetish, weirdo. Okay, don't worry. You'll get plenty of solo saves, I promise. You think he's crying about? Yeah. No, I killed the boy. Yeah, remember that? But yeah, you don't even care. That's what you're upset about? Oh my God. Accidents happen all the time. That was not an accident. No, I'm never doing that again. Jesus, how many times do I have to tell you they're only human, Ryan? So is his mother. For so much more. You understand? You're chosen, young man. You're talking to yourself right now. Sooner or later. You gotta accept it. Like you did? Yeah, I knew he was gonna take the milkshake. It's all right, he's probably lactose intolerant. I'm sorry, Ryan, I feel for you. I really do, kiddo. You do got this. I get it, sis. This sucks, but I don't know what to tell you. It's it's kind of part of you right now. Wow, Frenchie, I thought we were we were clean. I thought we were sober. Mm. What are we what are we not dealing with here, bro? What's going on? Are we gonna see what this is all about now? You look like shit. Well, are you? Plausible deniability, pumpkin. Exactly. The judge's son. I saw him at a... Wow. He was having a hard time, so I helped him get a job at Starlight's house and... So you're fucking him, right? Yep. I was just seeing him day after day, one thing led to another and... So what happens when he finds out he murdered his family? That's why he put the picture down. Oh! Oh! Why? God, Frenchie, you need to keep it in your pants, bro. Maybe that's why he's an addict. Oh, God. You said that you promised to handle dad, but you're not handling shit. Can you just lower your voice? No, no, no. You don't get to tell me what to do, okay? I spent a week standing by the front door telling dad you'd be back. Because why wouldn't you be? You promised. Let her know. Let her know. And you have to sit with it, ma'am. But if your you promise care. didn't mean anything. Yeah. Get rid of all your fucking rosemary oil crap. Dad would hate it and it smells like shit. Good for you, Huey. You deserve to say that. I don't feel for you, ma'am. I'm sure there's a backstory as to why you left, but it doesn't change the fact that you left. Yep, revenge. Rather take it out in aggression than deal with my emotions. Not gonna work out well for you, girl, even if you are invincible physically. You two ready to hug it out or what? You should have left me. You know Edmund wasn't gonna do that. He would have beaten you up if he didn't care anymore. To be a good skipper, you gotta be a right asshole. Ain't no room for compassion. Mm, I disagree. With the time I got left, get Ryan safe. I can't do that alone. Why are you asking for help, Billy? Too fucking little butcher. Too fucking late. He tried. And honestly, I get it because MM has already got so much 
on his plate. I really don't blame him for not wanting to sign up for even more of things that are pretty much only beneficial to Billy at the moment. So woo, that was another episode that was pretty loaded. Uh, it was very interesting to see the team try to operate without Billy. I mean, you know, Billy's trying to come clean right now, but understandably with MM, of course, at the most, because MM is definitely the most, I'd say, open with his emotions, I guess you can say. And I think he's known Billy the longest. So he absolutely has every right to feel the frustration, the anger, the just overall doneness with Billy. And I get why he just kind of wants to distance himself from him. He kind of wants to get away from him. But also they have this brotherhood, right? We heard MM say it when they was beating him up outside. Like, I always keep thinking that we're going to be brothers again. And then you screw me over or you do something that just makes me feel like an idiot for having that faith in the first place. And um, it's sad because you know that being with Billy is complicated, right? Everyone who's been in Billy's life for an extended period of time, they can all say that it's not an easy relationship at all. And that all goes back to the deeply messed up self that is Billy, right? Like he is, we saw a lot of that in season two, season three, especially that episode um, where, uh, season three actually, sorry, when um, that one soup got into his head and locked him into his worst nightmares for like the whole episode. That really gave us a small taste of why Billy is just not okay. And he's never dealt with all that. That trauma is still there. That lack of, that lack of ability to connect with people out of fear is still there. And unfortunately it affects everything that he does. Like if you can't love yourself, forgive yourself and get past your trauma, it's very difficult for you to love others in a healthy way. And so anyway, um, we see what went down there with the, the group trying to follow the Sage. But again, I don't know why they're not getting the fact that Sage is super smart. Like, of course she would have figured out who they were. She knows who they are. She would have noticed she was being tailed. She, I'm sure she knew her phone was bugged. Like, I think again, they're, t they're, it's, they're approaching her like she's a normal person. And this kind of power, in my opinion, will always supersede this kind of power, right? Physical power is great and it's definitely a great asset, but being literally smarter than every person on earth and not even just smart in the sense of like, she comprehends stuff. You saw her apartment, she constantly takes in knowledge. So she's at a level they can't imagine. You can't come at her normally. You have to come at her in a completely sideways kind of way. And so anyway, we see that uh, they got set up. Things didn't go well. I never want to see that many naked clones again. God, please. That was horrible. So many things. Like the boys just, you know, we got out of, we, we got, we got away. Episode one. Episode one, we didn't see anything too disturbing. This one, they said, ha, reminder, still the boys. You get to still be, you know, you just get to be a little bit traumatized after this episode. But yeah, we didn't need to see all of that. However, we see that, uh, I'm not sure what the objective it was for Sage to have these people try to, I mean, I get, I get that she wanted to get rid of the tails, but telling them that they would get a chance to get in with Homelander. Like she was trying to get in with her to begin with. But again, maybe it was just all one big sting to try to get the CIA off their butts. But anyways, I still think she's up to something. Sage definitely has another plan. Like the fact that she told um, the Deep that Ashley can't talk to him like that, that he needs to start respecting her. Like that came out of nowhere and it didn't really benefit her. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it seems like something she didn't need to get involved in. So my guess is her doing that is because she wants to break up the seven or possibly break up this loyalty that they feel to Homelander lander which would make sense because i feel like she is trying to dismantle him somehow but she just needs to do it smartly right but anyway uh sage is an interesting character i'm liking how she's moving so far and i like that she's showing you don't need to have the super i mean as a soup i'm sure she still has the durability and strength to a degree but she's showing you don't need to have all that fancy stuff to be very dangerous and a pain so there was that uh what else did we have we had oh poor ryan i feel for him so much like he's just so lost and but he needs to go through this right because a part of him, despite all that his mom tried to tell him, there's a difference between hearing about what your dad is like and actually experiencing it for yourself. And this is his chance. Like he, he, I understand his draw to want to get to know Homelander. It's only natural for him to want to know his dad. And of course his dad has been painted by the world as being a saint. It's really, it was just his mom and this man that his mom was married to, they're telling him that this man is evil, but he doesn't have any reason to believe that fully at this, you know, at least before, right? And then of course, after losing his mom and feeling like Billy had abandoned him, he was vulnerable and Homelander seemed like the, the right way to go. But he's now starting to see piece by piece, bit by bit, what his mother was trying to tell him all those years ago about what his father is like. And it's, I think when people think of bad people, they think of like the overt stuff, right? The fact that he lasers people's heads off and threatens people and all that, like that is bad. But really the insidiousness of 
Homelander's narcissism, his lack of empathy, his lack, his lack of sympathy, his lack of ability to even see Ryan as a person and just looking at him as a way to, you know, further inflate his ego. Ryan's starting to see slowly that his dad doesn't give a damn about him, right? If he doesn't, especially if he doesn't want to do and be exactly like him. Everything about the soft launch of Ryan as his son, right? The, wanting to have a costume that was a gross abbreviation of what he wears. The fact that he had to have it known that Ryan is Homelander's son. Not about Ryan. Homelander's son, Ryan, right? I want to be the big, huge moon that eclipses everything about my son. Like, everything about that was gross. Ryan started to see it. Again, Ryan doesn't want any of this, right? He just really wants to try to get to know his dad and, like, deal. And he's starting to see that... Even with his dad pushing him to the limelight, at first he was kind of like, okay, yeah, maybe he wants me to like have my own thing and he wants me to get out into the world and help people. And then he doesn't get to have his own moment. He doesn't get to do his own save. And then his dad pushes him to take out a person. And then afterwards it's like, yeah, don't worry about it. Like you kind of messed it up, but it, you know, it was all about me in the end, right? So these are hard lessons for Ryan, unfortunately, but they're lessons he needs to learn and he wouldn't have really understood it unless he spent time with his dad, which is, Sadly, still going to be traumatizing for him, but he needs this. And I'm hoping, I'm seeing that the fact that he's crying over this, outside of the fact that it's completely abnormal, is I. it's telling me, and I'm hoping that it's saying that the, the years that his mom put into really working to make him a good person actually are paying off because his morals are really just not okay with all this stuff that his father's doing, no matter how hard his dad is trying to push that idea. Uh, what else? We, but yeah, I feel for him. I do think he's going to seek out Billy before the end of the season though, the way things are going. I definitely see it going that way. Kumiko, speaking of trauma, she is definitely getting, now that she's kind of in a place where she's no longer kind of co constantly in fight or flight mode, you know, if we come back to where we saw her in season one like she's been in fight or flight mode ever since she was you know turned into a lab rat as a as a kid and now that she's had some time and went through what she did last year with, with losing her powers and then getting them back and everything she's finally in a place where she can start processing her trauma and if you know anything about trauma the way our bodies are typically made is that if you are in fight or flight mode is and you're always trying to survive your your mind has mechanisms to like compartmentalize and like basically hide your trauma from you so that you can focus on surviving and that's what poor kumiko has been doing for so long and now that she's no longer in constant fear of her life and that fight or flight is no longer in the forefront of her life she now has that time her brain is finally like okay great now all this trauma we've been storing back here huzzah here it is right <laughs> deal with it and she is not dealing with it well as you can see she's trying to suppress it she's trying to numb it she tried drinking she did try going to therapy but she doesn't want to talk about the real issue and so we see that she's just trying aggression any type of tactic to avoid it but i think at some point she is going to have to face it although it looks like there's going to be possibly some people that were involved in what happened to her like i think she took out a good chunk of them already but there's still some remnants and i don't think she got the top of the chain of what caused what happened to her so i think we might be touching on a bit of that for her this season but we'll have to see either way my girl has some things to work through speaking of working through frenchie my god sir what you slept with the kid whose family you took my beautiful french man you are such a mess i don't know what to even say anymore but i don't even know how he's gonna get himself out of that i i don't even know if he should i, I don't know if that's gonna be good or bad for this guy i feel like he should just ghost <laughs> i think it, the best thing for him to do at this point is try to completely ghost and hope this guy does not continue to try to contact him because yeah i don't know if it's gonna be any better for him to know the truth at this point because that was really that was low for she <laughs> that was low good you did that sober bro and i don't know i'm wondering if he did it as a knee-jerk reaction a because he felt guilty or is it because kumiko rejected him i don't know but either way that was messed up frenchie and i don't know i don't even i don't even have advice on that one honestly i at first i feel like avoidance is the best thing but i have a sneaking suspicion that truth's gonna come out at some point so anyway that was frenchie um a train helping them out still struggling with his brother that sucks i do feel for him on that one but he's just gonna have to wait it out like his brother may never forgive him and he's gonna have to accept that I'm hoping that it's looking like it really is affecting him though. Like his brother has literally been there for him since day dot. So I do think that this is going to be the one thing that really pushes a train to be and do better for real, but we're just going to have to wait and see. But yeah, this is another really good episode. I'm, I'm liking how they're giving us the emotional plus, of course, the stakes of what is going on here. We didn't get too much progress, obviously on operation, get closer to this, uh, get closer to Homeland or get closer to Sage or get closer to 
um, to, uh, what's her name? Uh, Newman. But we did get a lot of more of the emotional and the layers that are going on within the boys. And again, just showing how completely messed up they are. Oh yeah, there was, I forgot, with with Huey. Huey and his mom, we saw his mom. We know that she walked out 20 plus years ago. Understandable, Huey's very upset. I'm very proud of Huey for finally talking to her and letting her have it. Um, yeah, she doesn't really deserve Huey's grace at this point. I think she she deserves getting yelled at. But her talking about lower your voice, no, actually, he doesn't have to lower his voice. You abandoned him and he had to deal with that on his own. And he has every right to express his feelings to you, even if that means yelling. And I think considering he was still very, very, very polite and respectful, because he could have been a lot worse. So yeah, I'm glad he's, he got that out of his system. Uh, she was clearly affected by it, but I'm sure there's some sort of backstory we're gonna find out about soon enough, especially considering that his father is still in contact with her and has been. I mean, I assume that was the case just because he seems like he's a pushover, but I'm thinking there's more to the leaving than we know about and something that he's kept from Huey. And if his dad ever comes out of this, he will probably let us know what that is. But yeah, yeah, like I said, another solid episode. Definitely more about getting into the feels and into the minds of all the characters. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get into more of the actual nitty gritty of where we're going to go from here with Billy's final countdown here, because him reaching out for help at the end of the episode there, he's really feeling the fact that he's got a timer on his life right now and he's getting desperate, but you know, he might've burnt too many bridges, right? I feel, I do think MM's gonna come around because it's MM, but all the same, it's crazy when you get to, it might be the end of your life, when you get to reflect on how much, how much you might've done wrong. I feel like that's a lot for Billy to deal with on top of everything else, but we'll have to see. You know, I don't think this is his final season, but all the same, I'm kind of liking that he wants to try to change things up, even if it's just a little bit on the tail end of it, even if it is just the, if all he can accomplish is getting Ryan out of the clutches of that man, then I think that'll be enough for him. So yeah, I enjoyed the episode a lot and I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please show some love and I will see you in the next one.